Are you an Evernote Tasks user? You might be missing an important detail. Bear with me for a moment. I'll explain what I mean in three steps. Here's how you can use Evernote just like any other task manager app. I'll start by creating a note. Let's call it to do. Then go to tasks, the three dots, default task. You don't actually have to do this because Evernote sets a note. It's called, let's select this one here, to do. Now, every time I create a new task, for example, from here, new one, I can do it from here, new to, or even from here. They will all be created in this note. By now, you already know that you can add a date, a reminder, flag it, assign it, or delete this task. And of course, you already know that we can go to the tasks drawer and we have my tasks, we have assigned tasks, due dates, but this is what I want to talk about. Notes is something other apps don't have. Although you can use Evernote tasks just like any other task management app, I strongly believe that you'll make the best of it if you understand a basic principle. Remember I said that every feature in Evernote requires a note to exist. There is no task, there is no tag, or anything else in Evernote without a note. Maybe that's why it's called Evernote. But if you stop to think about it, it's a good thing. You can have, for example, an entire project, depending on the size of that project, inside a single note with tasks assigned to several people in your team. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here we are on a meeting. I'm taking notes and I'm gonna add some actions. Let's say we have this image. Save it. Insert a task. Remove background. I can set a due date. Let's say the 22nd. Okay. Another action, now a PDF. Let's make this a little smaller, make it an attachment, and add another task. Summarize it. <laughs> Somebody's gonna work a lot here. Let's choose 29. I think you can see how this is already different from other task management apps, but there's more. We can make it even better. Let's imagine a different scenario here. Instead of my notes, my tasks, let's pretend this note is shared with the team or maybe even the notebook is shared with the team. And now I will assign this task to one person and this other one to another person. Since the note or the notebook is shared with the team, each one of them will be able to see the additional information, the image and the PDF. But let's make things a little more complicated. <laughs> let's pretend that for the next meeting, I need, let's say, more chairs. So let's add a divider here to organize things. Even better. You can type minus, 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 enter. There's an entire video here explaining all these shortcuts. A new task for the next meeting will need more chairs. Let's say 10 chairs and let's assign this task to the person responsible for organizing the room. And let's say this person is not part of our team, it's part of the staff that organizes the room. In other words, there's no need to see the information in the note or in the notebook. Check this, this is the other person. So this is one account, this is the other account. Assigned tasks for the next meeting will need more chairs and note is not available. Did you get it? Did you see how powerful this is? I can have a note or a notebook shared with the team, assign it tasks, and I can even assign tasks to other people that 
cannot see that information, maybe it's confidential information, maybe there's no need to see the information, like the example of the chairs. Why would a person need to see the information? All we need are 10 chairs. This is exactly how my client's assistant take notes during meetings. If you haven't, watch this video and you understand. And if you want to learn more about Evernote and productivity, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.